Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.3.5. This was a pretty small update and came in at 39.8 megabytes for me. It might have varied for you a little bit. This is an iPhone 6S, and let's go back and take a look at the build number and you'll see it's 13G36. And while it's fairly insignificant physically, it's pretty significant overall. So you won't see any physical changes with this update. And the reason Apple pushed this update before iOS 10 is that this patches some pretty serious security holes. Basically, there's a story on vice.com, and I'll leave a link in the description to that, where hackers could gain full privilege and right access to basically everything on your phone. Now, it's not very easy to do, but a company discovered it, let Apple know, and they patched it. So I'll leave a link to that article, but let's talk about what they've actually patched. Now, before we do that, you need to understand what the kernel of the operating system is. This is a Unix-based operating system, and the kernel basically is the core of the computer. It basically has complete control over everything within the system itself. So what happened here is by visiting a maliciously crafted website, it could lead to code execution or or bad code execution, and Apple has patched that. They've also patched two more security holes. So once that's taken place, an application could disclose memory within the kernel itself, and they've patched that. And also an application may be able to execute arbitrary code within kernel privileges. So it basically allows access to your device overall if this particular malicious code is executed on your device. The person basically received a text message. They knew better than to actually click it, but had someone investigate it and found out that's what was going on. So by actually just opening a text message, which brought them to a website, they could basically gain full access to your system through that. So that's the good thing that it's actually patched. So you definitely should run out and get this. Now, if you're jailbroken, you are open to a little more security holes than average anyway, but it's definitely recommended to update to this if you want to actually have a secure device, especially if you're using something like Apple Pay or you see any weird links people are sending you. There's not really anything other than that within this update, but it's good that they pushed this out pretty quickly. And then for all of you that really like iOS 10, uh, iOS 10 should be coming out probably within a few weeks. Hopefully we'll see Apple announce something really soon as far as uh, when they're going to show the next iPhone or a new event that we'll be able to check that out. And after that, shortly, they usually release, usually about within one week or so, they release the final version of iOS 10. So hopefully we'll see that soon. And then we'll be moving on to those devices. So definitely go update your device to 9.3.5. And if you have any comments or questions, maybe you found something physical that I actually couldn't find throughout here, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. And also, if you you want this wallpaper. I know a lot of you asked for that. I'll leave a link in the description there as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.